Good morning. Sunday the 9th of January. It's um, clearish sky, three degrees. It's bloody freezing. A Saturday morning I woke up stiff neck, sore again. So goodness knows how I'm going to hit the ball today. But you know, we'll give it a go. We've got to get our game going in winter. We Now we're heading into spring. We've got to play come what may. Well, it's fair to say that this video happened by accident. I didn't plan to wake up on Saturday morning with a stiff neck. And I didn't plan to have soft ground. But what I hope to prove is that if you've got a short game, it doesn't really matter how old you're getting and how short you're hitting it. And I'll put up the yardages of the drives as we go. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty this morning, but as long as I'm hitting them straight, even if it's short and straight, I can make a score. Now, one of the hard points I find with these mats is actually getting myself pointing in the right direction, especially when I'm lugging the camera around. The camera is, is sort of like an irritant to your setup routine because you're backwards and forwards hitting record and checking the, the zooms all right. So you've got the mat in and you've got me in. So uh, it's a little bit more difficult with a camera. Now when I'm playing good golf, it's no bother. But when I'm playing poor golf, this sort of like backwards and forwards means that when I get back to the ball, I don't set myself up properly. But we're gonna concentrate on that today and try a bit harder. All I'm trying to do in the winter here is, is just keep it ticking over. Now, uh, if it was a warmer day, if this was 10, 11 degrees and my neck wasn't stiff and sore, then I would be really going at it. But today it's just tapping it round, really, and keep the game ticking over until it warms up a bit. I got a four iron. If I thin this, this is going to hurt. <laughs> One of the advantages of being a short hitter rather than a bomber So it's so difficult to get set up properly. Is that the golf course is quite a bit wider. Short hitters tend to be straighter than the guy who's launching it 280. So if you can keep your short game sharp, there's no reason at all why you can't compete with the big hitters. Not very satisfactory. Now this is the bit I'm really interested in, it's keeping this part of the game sharp. If I can keep this part of the game sharp, then it doesn't really matter if the long game is a bit ropey, because the long game will improve as the weather improves and my neck improves. Didn't quite borrow enough for the slope, because the green slope's that way, but it's pin high. So we're keeping this bit going. As I say, if the short game is sharp, the long game doesn't matter. Quite often I leave the flag in so that uh, I know that I've got the hole in the shot and if you're watching on the phone you can see where the hole is but I've got to get into the habit of taking the flag out again. Well the sun's getting a bit higher. It's just about see it coming over the hill now so it might warm up a bit. So as I said with the camera I quite often set up to the ball pointing in completely the wrong direction. So I'm going through my full pre-shot routine here, the practice swing, stand behind the ball, look at the target, pick a spot in front of the ball to hit the ball over. 
but this one is just a bit of a tow hook and it doesn't go very far. Yeah, so the swing path's all wrong. I got no speed, but we're still gonna make a score. I got a nine iron out first before then going back for the eight iron. And the swing speed is so slow, I barely get this one on the front. Yeah, it's a struggle. I hadn't planned on testing my lag putting today, but it seems okay. I think I might stop recording 11. We all know what it is. It's 92 yards to a bucket hole. By the time I get back from Thailand, we'll be back on the proper green and then I can start filming it again. Yeah, I'm not even close to hitting my distance, but um, we're only just short and it's the bucket hole, so it's a par. Well, we're straight into the sun, so you're not gonna see much on this shot. Um, I don't trust my driver to take on the corner, so I'm going hybrid. The good tip for you in winter is a good five wood or three wood, something with loft and a shorter shaft will go a lot further than a bad driver. Well, it's the right direction, tiny little fade, we're in good shape. Right, looking on the rear screen, this light behind is screwing up the shot. But I got 158, I can't trust myself with a long iron off this upslope. So I'm going hybrid again, I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? Yeah, a pretty bad swing. Not surprising really how much I'm hurting. I'm short left of the green, which means I got loads of space for a chip. Let's make a score. Well, the ball's covered in mud and it is sat absolutely horrid, but uh, we'll do our best. As a shorter hitter, this is where you equalize the score. This is where you can outdo the guy who drives it 270, 280. Who can hit his six iron at 190 yards? They probably don't practice this, but it is so easy to practice. And I do. Yes, yeah, about 15 feet shy. Next time you go out and play, you have a count up of how many times you get up and down. And if it's less than 50%, and practice until it is 50%. Or better. Not the best putt in the world, but uh, you know, 12 is a bogey hole most of the time anyway, so a bogey injured is pretty decent. Sorry about the uh, what it looks like on the screen. 
It's just the sun is so very low. Well, 13 is only 255 yards, but I do want to get over the ridge, over that horizon you can see. So I am using driver today because obviously I'm just slapping it. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but I've got it up on top, which is a good thing because I'll be able to see the green. When you can see the green, you can generally play a much better and closer second shot. This is my favorite place for birdies on the golf course. I get a ton of birdies here, on and off camera. Right, I got 64. And it's into a cold wind, so this is virtually a full shot for me, Sam Wedge. Well, it's on, so I got a chance. Not as close as I'd like. Well, the last time I had this putt, I underborrowed and missed on the low side. So going on memory, I'm going to borrow a little bit more. Turn in. Go almost fell over there. Right, there's a new kid on the block. He's called Chasing Birdies. He's got three subscribers and three videos out there at the moment. Uh, he hasn't done any for a little while through the Christmas and New Year, but he's going to be making some more videos in the spring. I'm subscriber number three. So uh, go over, show him a bit of love, give him some encouragement, and uh, we might see some more videos. Now he's had a very long break from golf, 10, 12 years, something like that, and now he's getting back into it. So it's going to be an interesting journey to see if he can recover his game. So, uh, you know, go over, hit the subscribe, watch a couple of his vids, and then wait to see what he chucks out um, in the coming months. Cheers. The last two times I've played this hole, I've lost my ball. And each time was off a good drive, over the stick or just about six feet right of the stick. I think what's happened is the ball's gone over the other side and it's rolled and rolled and rolled down the bank, covered itself in mud and become invisible. If I do it a third time, then Krakatoa is going to look like a Sunday school at party, I can tell you. Yeah, a very stiff swing. It's right at the stick. It's only just on top and probably only gone over a little bit. But if I can't find the damn thing, there's going to be a little bit of anger. Well, my weak drive has rolled down off this slope here and into the perfect place. The two really good drives I hit gone over the edge of the horizon there and obviously collected mud as they've rolled down. Can't get a fix with a laser on this because it's downhill and it's a bit murky. I reckon I got about 122 and because I'm hitting it weak, I'm going to go with an 8 iron. It just drew enough, so it's on the edge of the green, rather than on the green proper. Well, this is one area where I've been trying to improve. 
and that is the very short chip where you are forced to chip where there is no option to putt. Well, I don't think I can reach 15 today, but we'll give it our best shot. See, and it lands into the upslope, so it is very short. That's about a five or a six yard fade. But if I'd just line myself up to the mat, I might be in the trees on the right with that shot. Yeah, this doesn't look good on camera at all. Perhaps I should come out a bit later. I've got 186, 192, depending on which of whether I look at the laser or the watch. I'm going three wood. My only chance is to get out to the right and use my short game. So that's what it's about in the winter, isn't it? It's about equalising your shots, your score, with your wedge and your putter. It was ugly, what ugly swing, no balance. Best shot of the day though, I'm a foot short of the green. I might get me par. Best laid plans of mice and men, isn't that what they say? Oh well, it's, it's a bogey, but it's a shot hole, so net par, move on. Well, this is an easy hole. It is for me. You just hit your driver over the top. It goes down the hill, feeds off to the right, and you get a flattish lie in the bottom. Then you can hit at something like a nine iron or a wedge up onto the green, two putts par. But I'm not hitting the very ball very far because of this neck, so. I might not get down on the flattest bit. If I'm not on the flattest bit, then I might not be able to hit the green. Well, it's definitely over the top, but uh, I don't know how much run I'm going to get in the winter. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to lean on the short game again if I've got an awkward slope. You know, if I'm hitting off a down slope trying to get the ball up, then we're going to be chipping and putting again. Quick shout out to the four juniors who came over and said hello. They said, are you the hairy golfer? Yes, I am. And they're enjoying the video. So you guys ever want to get on? It'd be a pleasure to film you. If it wasn't for the fact I got to walk all the way around the ropes, I could have put the camera up there. Then you could have seen it come in. It's about like that. Could have done with that on the previous hole, couldn't I? Oh well. well. The downside of coming out early is this low sun and the picture doesn't look very good. The upside is, is that I will get to the 13th tee before the Winter League does, so I can play this loop of five holes again. But as I'm injured, there's no point in me attempting to play this five holes again. I'm not going to learn anything. Right, this is stroke six. I get a shot on it now that my handicap crept up. So I don't need to go for this green, but I'm going to. <sighs> 
another long lag. Now these are quite awkward in the winter because the greens are slow and they're woolly and you're never too sure how the ball's going to run out. How many paces is that? And I've dropped it to 18 inches. So you know, keep your short game sh sharp and you can make a score. I haven't made a birdie in 2022 yet. Maybe the next hole. Pressure? What pressure? 